Hello there, welcome back. We're now the King of the Iron Throne. I'm no longer streaming, by the way. And yes, yeah, the King of the Iron Throne, we have no legitimate blood right to it whatsoever. None at all. I just manipulated the game legitimately, and now we are on the throne. As far as actual vassals go, quite a few people dislike me rather a bit, including you, because apparently I've legitimised bastards. What he fails to realise is, he is one of those legitimised bastards, which is utterly stupid. His mother is Randa. She gave me two kids. Oh, very lovely. Why don't you? Oh, the ugly one. Ugh, never mind. So in this war, we have her. She's against me and my buddies. Let me just pull that blind down. It would get too bright in front of my eyes as soon as I start to record. It's probably when you're recording during the day. Either way, I do have the reach on my side. Very great. Also have Dawn on my side. Not that great, but I suppose it's better than them being against me. And then ultimately we have the Ironborn, who dislike me for some reason and has claims everywhere. Why? How? I get the Lannister thing, even though they're no longer in charge. Why is your capital over there? But yes, we got this to deal with. I have access to your levies. 4,000... 9,000, not really that many to be honest, but they don't exactly have anyone at all. And she leads troops. She leads troops. Okay. Oh, well, if we could, could I please have some higher realm authority so I can take rid of some... Get rid of some of these people when I imprison them. Also, master at arms. Who's going to be my master at arms? I don't know. How about somebody I'm not going to end up replacing with Lord Paramount? Sir Faddis of Caucus. I've always liked your game. You, sir, will train troops in Harrenhal. Meanwhile, your men over here are going to invade that. You might have no morale, but at least you have Hobart in command. Your 9,000 and the control of my armies, or my generals, is going to make your way down to Harrenhal, where I'm going to have approximately no one waiting for you. Oh, we'll have a Tronte, he likes us. Seriously, none of these people? Really? Absolutely no one likes me. Isn't that a bugger? So we get some guys over there to try and meet up at Aaron Hall, including my own personal levy. No, let's try and not use them. If they could live, I would appreciate it. What's this? You've decided to join up against me, have you, Lord Vance? Excellent. Absolutely excellent, Lord Vance. Get your men together now. Well, so why do I have these people? They are underneath the Golden Road who's over there. Okay. I'm going to have a look, see if I can fix up this realm somewhat. Calling our allies, would he want to join? He would. Come on over there, fellow. We'll see how big your realm is. Seeing as you apparently don't want to join in. Well, sworn to me at least, you don't want to. This is Dutch. I'd like to have the three duchies. This, um, the claw, and these guys. What's this? So, he of Rushamont. Who is he? Oh no, we've got one of his fellows in my King's Guard. So I could become bitter rivals with some guy. 60% chance he's imprisoned and loses to Trich King's Guard. Well, yes, I don't want a king I wanna be able to fix out my King's Guard. He's got a Rushmore in the King's Guard. I can't tell how. How is there a Rushmore in my King's Guard? Where even is my king? Here it is, it's over here somewhere. Can we get rid of that? The White Book. Jeez. Who's the Rushmore then? Oh, him, he's, he's alright. Um. You know what? He's the Knight of the King's Guard, he'll do his duty. Panoi, trusting, no effect. Oh, okay, never mind. He's already fled. Well, okay then. I'm not going to have any random lowborns in my King's Guard anymore. Actually, I'm going to see what I can do about getting my own sworn houses into the King's Guard. 
That's going to be a lot more fun. But yes, they have quite a few thousand men. I'm not really going to have that many over here. You guys get over there. No, go through that. It shouldn't restart their movement when you do this. I haven't unpaused. It should not restart that movement at all. Not at all. No way. Never. Wait, what? Who? Lord Bracken? Ah, oh, come on, people. Not everyone's actually joining our side. Well, at least they're not joining her. That is something. Also, success and nomination for what? The Riverlands. Vote for me. Which is imprisonment of my wife. Don't mind if I do. Can I execute her? No one mind, she's excommunicated. Lovely. So I can now get a Queen of Worth. Baratheon would bring in the Storm Queen, but she's only 10, so that's not going to happen. Who can we marry into? What about you, Reach? Do you have any siblings? You have a child of zero. Hmm. I'd preferably want to marry into someone. If I married a Targaryen, that is somewhat of a royal claim. Yes, if I married a claimant to the Iron Throne in general... Is there anyone young? Rhaera is married, of course she is. Daella, married, of course. Everyone gets married in this. I don't think you're going to find anyone unmarried of a suitable age. She's 31. I am 37. And she's huge. She should... She could still breed. And she's lustful. Lustful, huge, trained fighter. I'm sure she'd make a good queen. Blackfire is a legitimate claim family. I don't think otherwise I'm going to get a alliance anywhere. Your daughter is 11. Your sister is 52. Alright you sir. You have plenty of kids. But they're all married. No, they're not. Right, you are going to become my wife. Don't care how ugly you are. I want an alliance with the Westerlanders. Right, it's okay, lovely. So I'll get a pinion up with the Westerlands. And the Westerlands is, of course, very powerful. Anyway, let's bring me the greatest knights in the realm. Who have we got? The guy who just left me. Um, some Elbrook. Or Longforp. A young Longforp. Well, let's have none of these men guard me. I'm going to... Oh, House Harren. I'm going to look into my court, see who we've got. Men who can fight. Any of my houses in here? I don't care if they're that good. Right, there is Fadus of Caucus. He is quite old. Breakstone. Didn't, did I make them? No, but they've always been in my family. House Blount, however, are good friends of mine now. Oh wait, married? No. Right, there's Philip Blount here. You, sir, appoint to Kingsguard. Can I make him a knight's vest? Yeah, he's now a knight. Right, sir, uh, Philip. And appoint to the Kingsguard. There we go, so we've got Philip Blount. He's not the best of fighters, but he's a good sir. I'll grant you knighthood as well, of course. Right, sir, uh, fellow. Ormond. Special interest. I like the Blount in this playthrough. Colin, you're a bit useless. Lord Reading. Overall, I have 17,000 men trying to get over there. They probably have as many, but then I could round up someone here. Rule I'm married. I've already sent a marriage proposal to one of my vassals. Oh, that's lovely. I have a queen. A queen which, which gives me a strong alliance to the Westerlands. Should keep him loyal. He can also be master of the horse. Good old chap. Does any regents? I'm never going to have a bad regency, am I? We're on seniority succession? Yes. Okay, says that. He should like me a lot more now. Everyone's concerned. Yes, please give me some cash. 100 gold. Terrific. Oh, if I can get all these 17,000 together at Harrenhal, we should be safe. But he's going to the Red Fork. And we're not going to have everyone there on time. What if instead we went for Shoreham? Why do you do this to me? Honestly, why? 
that is not the fastest way. I'll get this Shoreham then. Crowning of the King. Good. Even more prestige. Even though I'm rather negative. Cholax Education SU. I'm going to educate you myself. And she doesn't dislike me because all of my bastards were born before we married. I should have enough bastards now. Oh, he died stillborn. Period of illness, age of eight. Which is my city. I don't want it though. Screw that city. I want my allies to come over and win this war for me. Ironborn, please sail over and throw your men at them. Also, the north needs to be fixed. Former south run. Of course, Wolffield's one of these houses over here. And these guys always, or at least this castle, Old Castle, always seems to get that high lordship. But yeah, they're getting their white hair throughout over here. That's not cool. Wait, I'm fighting people. Oh, we're fighting people over there. Not me directly, thankfully. But yes, at least this riverman is now dead. As you can see, they've got 19,000. I've got about 17,000. Let's retreat them men out. Of course, I do have friends. The Reach, Dawn, the Ironborn, all on their way. See what I don't have that many personal men. I'm going to leave my own uh, guys in here. But Harren Hall could be a bit better. Garrison size was 20%, 400 extra men. It cost me 600 gold. I reckon I'm going to get that gold back. But let's not do it yet. We can wait. We can definitely wait on this. Important decisions are available. Host a wedding feast, of course. Let's um, try and get this done. Even though I don't have all my vassals available. I might not always get a chance here. Name. Oh, loads of random lords. Your Lady of the Tridents. We're underneath them, so that doesn't matter. Sir of Summink Hill. We can imprison him. And then ransom him. That'll do nicely. I need the extra cash to pay for my wedding, please, sir. There is this guy. So I'm going to be able to make a lot more money now. As soon as I can imprison these people. Should be later. A lot more vassals, a lot more sub-vassals, a lot more money. So where's he going? He's going to salt pans, but he's going to have 20 odd thousand. Or she's going to have 20 odd thousand men. Anyone else unraised vassals wise? There is. But where? Where? Are, I suppose his opinion's gone right up now. Not you, Lannister. You, Lord Hunter. Well, you get quite a few men out of him now. As for House Hunter, anybody want to... Anyone from House Hunter want to be in my court? Oh, apparently they're the pains have taken over. Eastwald. Any hunters anywhere? No. The hunters have buggered off, really. No hunters to be seen. No one want to join me anyway. Too bad. I accept paying your ransom, your grace. What's this? So he wants to be protected by a royal member of the King's Guard. An old Grandison, but he's a formidable. He's bar barrister and reborn. Either of these two. I don't like either of their uh, generic names, and he's not really that good. So you can have Sir Eren. Enjoy him. Wait, what? Discovered a plot where Lord of Goldshire seeks to see the Iron Throne restored to House Westerling. House Westerling had the Iron Throne? Excuse me? Did they in this playthrough? Ah, that's probably it. It's probably in this particular playthrough. Well, there's a few extra men lying around now. Let's try and get all of you over here. Every little helps, of course. But yeah, most of these other men are from the other nations, which I can't currently summon. Where are my allies? Right, the Reach is coming up. Spend lavishly to show our power. Of course I will. We'll make these peasants love me again. Hereby invite you to, of course. Oh, come on, guys. Let's go into Linchester. 
the Ironborn look like they have arrived, some of them at least. Problem is, if these guys get... who even are you fighting? Defending against them, ah, so they're already defending against the Riverlands, okay, that's swell. I'll make this work, will I? Oh, no, you're rather old, thank you. You're no longer at my court. Yeah, 22,000 over there, I've got 17, probably near 18. 20 there, 10 there. Yeah, the Reach has got this. But what kind of a king would I be if I didn't even try and fight with my own army? Ah, thank you, Sir Fadus. Your son would be a worthy Kingsguard member. If he wasn't all the way over there. I'll keep you in, in mind for future reference. Maybe even having two Blounts. They're both brothers as well. And their father's in my court. A good, good chap. What honorary title? You are Captain of the Household Guard, Blount. I'm going to make the Blounts powerful. What do they currently hold? Do they have this? No, I can't even remember the Blount's castle. It's this, that's long, uh, long ward. Blount, here we go. Yes, even though I'm friends with a very distant part of House Blount, I believe. It would be indeed, yes. His sibling, like the grandfather's sibling. Welcome to the wedding. Well, let's see if we can engage an army before the Reach wins everything for me. In fact, what are we doing? Let's get you guys together. Let's march in this direction instead. That way we can engage his army. Enough of the feast, of course. How's Grace going? No, not Fadus. I should be able to do custom nicknames as well. Fadus of Caucus would be his name, definitely. That's why I keep on calling him, so yes, that is his name. Now let's get my army. I've got the Ironborn with me, so that'll be swell when we engage. This will go straight for it. Too bad for suffering a bit of attrition here, but it's not for long after we win the war. Let's go. Come on, Ironborn, let's go. Get him. Oh, no, they jumped in first. Fine tradition. Ah. Osmond and Randa. Very attractive name, that's Randa. No. Anyway, let's get in. Get me in the fight. Yes, here we are. And commanders happen to me. Oh, they're on my castle. Oh, well. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. You've got a lot more pikes than they have. Oh, yeah, it's probably something to do with the number. Considering the number, we have equal heavy cav. Hmm. Anyway, well done to them guys. Vassal opinion up 10%. So let's just finish off this battle and I'll be ending the episode. Nobody died. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun, and of course, see you next time. Bye bye.